Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about inverse function. So in this lesson, we will define an inverse function and the uh, notation used for inverse functions. So we will also use this. Uh, we will also discuss the process for uh, finding an inverse function. Okay, what is now? What is what is an inverse function in mathematics? An inverse function is a function that uh, reverses another function. Okay, as an example, consider the the function f and its uh, inverse. Okay, f raised to negative one, and f raised to negative one is the inverse of f. Okay, because f maps uh, because f function f maps a to three. In the inverse of function f, we have uh, 3 back to a. Okay, now be careful with the notation for the inverses that the negative 1 is not an exponent despite the fact that it sure does look like 1. Okay, When dealing with inverse functions, we've got to remember that uh, the inverse of f of x is not equal to 1 over f of x. And this is the one of the more common mistakes that students make when first studying inverse functions. And the process for finding the inverse of a function is a fairly simple one, although there are a couple of steps that can on occasion be somewhat messy. So here is the process. So finding the inverse of a function, given the function f of x, we want to find the inverse function, which is the 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 n f of uh, inverse function f of f x this is the notation for the inverse function An example uh, find the inverse function of f of x equals 6x plus 15 okay. f of x equals 6x plus 15 so we want to find out what is the inverse function of this function so the first step is replace f of x with y okay so y equals 6x plus 15. This is done to make that the rest of the process is easier. Then next, second step, uh, replace every x with a y and replace every y with an x. Okay, so replace y with x and replace x with y. And then solve the equation from step 2 okay, for y. So we want to solve on the on our third uh, step we want to find out what is the value of y in terms of x okay so here okay i will move up positive 15 to the left side okay so it will become x minus 15 equals 6y and then divide both sides by by 6 Okay, so we got y equals x minus 15 over 6. Okay, now after we solve uh, y in terms of x, now replace y with, uh, replace y with this one. Okay, with f inverse of f of x. Okay, in other words, we've managed to find the inverse at this point. Okay, so this is equal to x minus 15 over 6. And that's it. Okay, example number 2. Given g of x equals uh, the square root of x minus 3, uh, find the inverse of g of x. Okay. Now, the fact that we're using g of x instead of f of x here uh, doesn't change how the process works. So here are, here are the first step. Uh, here are the, uh, the first few steps. So again, what is, the, what is our first step? Okay, change uh, given g of x to y. So therefore, we have y equals the square root of x minus 3. Next, uh, second step, replace y with x and also replace x with y. So x equals the square root of okay, y minus 3. And then 
uh, same thing with step 2 in step 3 we are now uh, we are now getting to solve y in terms of x so here uh, on, on the right side we have square root so to eliminate the radical sign here we just we, we need to uh, square both sides of the equation so so x squared equals square of y square of square root of y minus 3 okay so here the our radical sign is eliminated because of this one so x squared equals y minus 3 then after that solve for y so now we move negative 3 here from the right side to the left side so x squared plus 3 equals y okay or y equals x squared plus 3 and now uh, replace with the inverse uh, function notation here uh, inverse function of g of x so inverse function of g of x equals x squared plus 3 okay now third example h of x equals x plus 4 over 2x minus 5 find the inverse of h of x so the first couple of steps are pretty much the same as the previous examples so here they are now uh, replace h of x with y okay so x plus 4 over 2x minus 5 and then I replace a y with x and also replace x with y so x equals y plus 4 over 2y minus 5 okay and then okay cross multiply this one or multiply both sides by 2y minus 5 uh, to eliminate this in the denominator okay so multiply both sides by 2y minus 5 or just simply cross multiply just just like that okay now x times 2y minus 5 is equal to y plus 4 okay and then uh, distribute x inside the parenthesis we have 2xy minus 5x equals y plus 4 so the problem here we want to find out what is the value of y in terms of x so put all y's or put all um, y terms in on the left side and uh, the problem here negative 5x just move negative 5x to the right so isolate minus y okay so this will become positive 5x plus 4 okay now so we have a y terms here in on the left side and we have a common term which is y now factor out y y times 2x minus 1 equals 5x plus 4 so now we factor out y okay now solve for y in terms of x so we need to divide both sides by uh, 2x minus 1 Okay, both sides of the equation so 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 so cancel here so we have y equals 5x plus 4 over 2x minus 1 okay and then replace y with this because we already find we already found the, the inverse function of h of x so h the inverse function of h of x is equal to 5x plus 4 okay, cap, just copy over 2x minus 1 so this is the this is our final answer